So I want to talk about one more application of the match function that can be incredibly helpful uh, to save time and work more efficiently with lookup functions. So we're going to jump back to that lookup formula that we wrote um, in the earlier lectures. So I'm on the hitting data tab. I'm looking at cell P2. Uh, and I know you're probably thinking, what else could we possibly do to this function? Uh, we've worked on reference types. We've changed different table arrays. We've wrapped it in if error. Um, but there's one last piece that we can automate to save ourselves a lot of time in the future, especially if we're going to replicate this function in a number of places. So the piece that I'm referring to is the column index number, or the number 4. If you recall, when we first wrote this series of lookup functions, we applied the first function we wrote over to the five columns to the right. Um, so we applied the, the formula from column P to Q, R, S, and T. And the only thing we had to change to update those functions was the column index number. So we changed the 4 to a 5, the 5 to a 6, 6 to a 7, and so on and so forth. We can do even better than that, and we can replace this column index number with a match function that will do the same thing automatically. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the 4 here, and I'm going to write a match function. So match, and what lookup value are we looking for? It's going to be the name of the variable or the variable column header that I'm looking for, in this case, POS or position. And where am I going to try to find that? In the header row of my lookup array, which is in the fielding data tab. So it's going to be fielding data A1 through H1. And then remember, the third piece of the match function is the match type, which will be 0. And I'm going to close the match function off. So now, what I'm doing is instead of just saying, give me the value from the fourth column, I'm saying, give me the value from whichever column in which you find POS in the header row, which in this case would return the number four, just like we had. So when I hit enter, you can see it returns P for pitcher. Everything looks good. But before I apply this down and over to additional columns, I've got a little bit more work to do in terms of my uh, reference types and setting them properly. So in order to apply this function down without screwing anything up, I need to make sure that the references in my match formula are properly set. So right now, I just set everything as relative. But what we need to do is if we leave the P1 relative, then if I drag this formula down one row, it's going to try to match uh, whatever values in P2, which is nonsense. So I need to cycle through F4. I'm going to hit it twice until I just fix the row 1. Now when I drag this down, it's going to always pull in whatever the header uh, label is in the first row. So that row number will never change. Um, similarly, regardless of which variable or which header I'm looking for, those will always live in A, A1 through H1. So I'm going to fix that completely. And then the last piece that I need to do here is fix the A through H reference in the lookup table. That way I can drag this formula to the right without the A through H shifting through. So I'm going to fix the A through H, and that should just about do it. So I'll hit Enter, test this by applying it down. Everything populates correctly. That's great. And now here's the key. When I apply this over, I shouldn't have to change anything. It should all update properly which it does. Now what I'll do is I'll just take those four and apply them down and it's calculating. There you go. So as you can see the only thing that's changing now in my lookup formula is the lookup value in my match function. So in this case it's looking up the putouts header name in the fielding data array which is in the fifth column over in this case, it's looking up R1, which is the assists header name, which is in the sixth column over, and so on and so forth. So it's doing the exact same thing as our original column number, except now it's completely automated. So we can write one lookup function and apply it across a number of columns and a number of rows without having to touch a thing.